welcome back to the Understanding the Body Pillar. Today I'm going to talk to you about Ayurveda and how um, Ayurveda can help us understand the body. Um, I have touched on Ayurveda in previous pillars, but today um, I'm really going to go more into how it can relate to the Earth's elements and how the elements actually exist in the body. What I really love about Ayurveda is that it incorporates all of the elements in nature and explains how they exist in the human body. So all of the elements are earth, water, fire, air and ether. So fire being associated with heat, transformation and metabolism in the human body. So the fire element is usually associated with the dosha of pitta. And the pitta people are super driven they're really hardworking, they're quite competitive, and if they're overstimulated, they can have too much heat in the digestive tract. And this can kind of transform into ulcers, IBS, loose stools, chronic diarrhea. And to kind of bring this dosha back into balance, we wanna to connect to the element of water. So when we think about the uh, water element, we think of fluidity, just like a waterfall in nature. So when we use water in nature, we use it to put out fire as well. So uh, the pitta element can be brought back into balance with the water element. So to put simply, if you're someone that does have a pitta dosha and you're feeling overstimulated and maybe have digestive discomfort, immerse yourself in the water element, whether it be going into the beach or just drinking more water. And then we've got the, the air element and the ether element. So kind of similar, but also super different. So obviously we need air to live. The air element is the oxygen. But I know for me, being of a uh, vata dosha, too much air and too much space is too stimulating for me. So to give you an example, if I go and do an hour breath practice, I'm going to be super, super stimulated because I have so much uh, air uh, element in my body and I'm going to need grounding. So if I have too much air and too much ether, to, so space around me, then my nervous system is going to suffer and I'm going to get super anxious and I'm going to get maybe a little bit of insomnia. So the best way to bring this element and the, the vata dosha back into balance is connecting to the earth. Again, the earth element is super solid. We need this earth element in our bodies. So if we think of earth, we think of the soil and we think of the trees and greenery. So the best way for the vata um, bodies to kind of get back into balance is simply being in nature. On the other hand, we can have too much earth element in our bodies as well. And this can manifest in the kapha uh, the Kapha people. Now, the Kapha people are really great friends to have. <laughs> They're usually super loyal, super steady, really calm, but they may become a little stagnated, a little uh, congested, and a little too grounded. And this can also manifest in excess weight gain. So a great way to, to kind of lift that energy, uh, that earth energy element, is again to bring in water. So when we add water to the earth element, we're adding fluidity. So if we're feeling congested and we add in water or we immerse ourselves in water, we feel a lot more free. So as you can see, we need each element in the body and no one element can actually balance all of us. So the fire element is super crucial for our metabolism and our digestive system. The air element is super crucial for um, you know, just breathing and uh, moving and uh, our nervous system. The earth element is super crucial to keep us steady and grounded and focused. And the ether element is super important to help us feel spacious. So my recommendation for you guys and how you can bring the Ayurveda life science into your bodies a lot more is to honor all five elements. So this week, I really want you to get out in nature and put your feet on the earth. I really want you to light a candle and sit with that even just for 10 minutes in the morning. I really want you to take a swim in the beach. I want you to take time to sit by yourself and really acknowledge the space around you. And I also want you to connect to your breath to bring in that air element.
Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.